Hello, GGTV here with today's classic rock band 4 DLC review. Today we're looking at Once by Pearl Jam. This song was requested by Chris Dakshvab912. Okay, that was a really hard name to pronounce, sorry. But he requested it on the last Pearl Jam song I reviewed, which was black. You can check it out here. But is the shards any good? Let's dive in and find out. The drums of this song is freaking amazing. And if you saw my latest classic review, no I'm not joking this time. The main verse of the beat is a 8 hit beat on a hi-hat. With a lot of hits on the snare between the hi-hat hits. That beat is pretty amazing to play. And there are all kinds of different fills going through the whole song. The verse also sometimes becomes a slow 2 hit beat on a hi-hat with some fan pedaling. And the chorus is pretty much the same beat with hits on the blue cymbal. In the guitar solo it's a 4 hit beat on a hi-hat with the same snare hits between them as the usual 8 hit beat in the verses normally have. And this song really becomes crazy at the end with a lot of changes between the cymbals and the toms. It also changes the tempo of the hits a lot towards the end. This song is amazing from beginning to end and you will know every second of it. I give the drum shot the first perfect 10 out of 10 I have given a drum shot by the song if you are a drummer. The bass shot is a little bit repetitive, but the riffs you get are also very fun. The main verse riff is single note changes mixed with hammer-ons and some three note blast drumming. The bridge before the chorus is single notes, hammer-ons and sustains, while the chorus is more strumming with colder changes of the strumming, with a few hammer-ons and single note changes. The chorus drumming also changes tempo to a two note blast drumming that you don't really need to blast drum. In the guitar solo there is also more blast drumming mixed with hammer-ons. The riffs are a little bit repetitive like I've said, but it's still a blast to play and I have no problem giving the bass shot a 8 out of 10, because the repetitivity is pretty much my only problem with the song. I struggled through the guitar shot on Expert, but I think I would enjoy it a hell of a lot more if I lowered the difficulty. It starts with chord blast strumming with changes in the chords, and the normal verse riff is a lot of tough and fast hammer-ons. I know good guitar players will really enjoy those parts. The bridge before the chorus is long sustained though. The chorus is blast strumming with 2, 3 and more notes. For me this is hard because I really haven't learned to do blast drumming properly yet. The guitar solo is pretty tough with fast hammer-ons and a few 4 note blast drumming here and there. But mainly it's a very tough hammer-on section. The section after the solo is a mix of blast drumming, single note changes, hammer-ons and sustains. That part is also very tough. Overall this song is hard on expert, but it isn't repetitive at all and if you lower the difficulty you will enjoy it. I give the guitar shot a 9 out of 10. Overall a really good song. I can recommend all players to buy this song. Just lower the difficulty if you're not good enough yet. We also saw our first 10 out of 10 drum shot. So drummers should definitely buy this song. Most of the songs on the album 10 is really good, so I do recommend buying the full album. But if you don't want to, at least buy this one. I give Once by Pearl Jam a total score of amazing 9 out of 10. But that's all for me today, make sure to like, share and subscribe as always. And check out my What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber review here. Because I had a lot of fun making that, and I'm kinda proud of it. So check it out. Tell us in the comments what you thought about this review and DLC and I'll see you tomorrow with the DLC announcement.